All rise. I want viewers watching my show to believe in themselves. Judge Hatchet is compelling. I was not the first one to throw a walk. Let me just tell you what you just said. Compassionate. I really enjoy being a judge. Now I am touching people who I will never know I touched. She's powerful. You should have never let them walk out of your life when she was three. And she's on the bench. Don't get me preaching up in here today. Right. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchet. Darlene Shockley is suing her sister, Lisa Hickson, in the amount of $200. Ms. Shockley claims her nephew broke her son's lacrosse stick at a family reunion and says Ms. Hickson should pay for the item. Darlene, you are on opposite sides of my courtroom with your sister, suing her for $200. Yes. Clearly, there's more going on than this $200, because otherwise you all would have worked this out, yes? Why couldn't you all at least sit down and work this out? Your Honor, I did try. You did? I did she try. Did. Initially, she did? She did not. She did not? No, ma'am. Oh, we're off to a great start here. <laughs> one says I did, and okay. one says I did not. Tell me what happened. Initially, so it's been a long story with me and my sister. Um, growing up, things were difficult between us. Why? Why? She was the obvious favorite between my parents, and so I had to do as much as her and more in order to gain their so approval. So who's the oldest? I'm the oldest. Older. I'm two years older. Two, two years older. All right. She so does she not act like She was the two-year like older sister, and from your perspective, she was the favorite. Yes. Why did you feel that? Um, I just feel like no matter what I did, I didn't get that much praise for it. She could do the exact same thing. And for they example? Um, like just grades. If I got a B, uh -huh. they would be really hard on me and they'd be disappointed. And when she got a B, she'd be praised for it. So there were different standards, hmm. I felt like. She's exaggerating. Okay. So tell me, how is she exaggerating? She felt that you were the favorite, were you? I don't think I was the favorite, Your Honor. I felt like we got the same amount of praise. I thought we got punished the same. I feel like she just always had some kind of jealousy towards me. Why? Why do you think that? I just think it was just an older sister thing. I was older. I went to her dream school. She feels like I did it on purpose and college. You mean like to college? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I, gra I graduated first and I went to the college and she felt like I did it on purpose just out of spite. She found out about the school from me just so you know. Well, but I mean, look, there's a college. Right. She found out about the college from you. She applied because she liked the college. I mean, why would that be a problem for you? I'm just trying to understand this. I just don't think, I think it was a plot for her to continue to one-up me. She has this delusion that I'm jealous of her. And because you, of that- Are you, are you? Right. No, absolutely not. She is. Absolutely no. not? No. Is there resentment toward your sister because you felt that she was the favorite? I mean, let's keep it real. It's a possibility. A possibility. It's a possibility. I, think I don't it's probably think so. more than a possibility. She, she resents me, Your Honor. She, we both got pregnant um, in college. I got pregnant my senior year, a few months before she did. I ended up graduating still, and I was married at the time, and so I had my baby, and she had to drop out of school. So I feel like she always and had some kind of jealousy towards me because so she holds that I against ended up, me. You did. I ended up graduating from her dream school and she had to drop out and she hasn't been to school since. And so she's always been just mad at me because she got pregnant. I don't feel like that's okay. my fault. So, so do you see what I mean? Talk to me about this. Talk I, to me about this. Wh why does she have to keep throwing out the aspects of my life? What does that have to do I'm with not. anything? That's you were not, mad at me about the baby. You were mad at me about your boyfriend. I'm not because mad I, at you I, about anything. So her boyfriend, oh my, I this, helped her. I mean, we're really here about a lacrosse stick, but see, see, I know. See, I've done this long enough to know that there's always a backstory. Because yeah. otherwise, you all would have just hugged and said, okay, girl, listen, I'm sorry this happened. Let's see how we can figure it out. So what happened now? The boyfriend, what? So That's everyone right. knew her boyfriend was cheating on her. She was blindly in love. So this was in college. This was in college. Everybody knows. You're Everybody two knows. years ahead. Right. Totally She's irrelevant. She's on the campus. Well, right. But, but it goes to the backstory of why you all are here which is okay. why I'm trying to help you all. Because I hope you know, and you've watched long enough to know, that it is important to me that people leave in better shape than they came into my courtroom. That's, that's how I operate. That's how I try to work with people. So the boyfriend was cheating. Yes. And what's that got to do with anything? Well, I kept telling her that he was cheating, he was gonna break her heart, and I didn't approve of him. She thought I was just mad because I was jealous of her relationship for some reason, but I already had my boyfriend. So I made a fake Facebook account, and I sent him 
some lewd pictures. You couldn't see my face. Um, I baited him, but he took the bait and he was saying he was single. He didn't have a girlfriend that he likes to go out. He asked me out. He hadn't even seen the pictures yet before he asked me out. So I sent him the pictures. He said I was beautiful. He wanted to come over. So I showed her all the messages and she thought I was just plotting against her. But as her sister, I was trying to just show her that he was no good. So, yeah, uh, and they're not even together sister now. Sister goes to that extent. Because I now, I'm telling you, I was thinking the she same no thing. <laughs> she had no business. Let me tell you, that. I was thinking the same thing. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. She wasn't listening to anyone, so she needed proof. So I went and got proof, and I felt like I what was being a What do they call that? Catfishing? Catfishing. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I catfished him. He didn't know it was me. Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Darlene Shockley, who is suing her sister, Lisa Hickson, for property damage. What sister would go to that extent to bait the boyfriend? Why would you do that? Why would you do that, really, honestly? I mean, really, was it just out of spite? You wanted to do something, get back at her? Or were you trying to, quote, unquote, help her? Because if that's a, you call that helping, honey. Wow. Exactly, Your Honor. <laughs> Mercy. Exactly. I was. I thought I was trying Mercy. to help her. She, she wasn't listening it. to anybody. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So what did you do when you found out it was all fake and this had been set up? Or did you well, just find out the day in court? Um, no, I knew that. You knew so that? That's why we don't deal with each other. We haven't seen each other since that happened about six years ago. Six years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we saw each other at the reunion. That was... At the family reunion, yes. which is why you're all in court today, yes. because something happened at the family reunion. Yeah. Do you not see a problem with what you did? I, I get why she's upset, but at the time, I really felt I was trying to help her. Like, she wasn't listening to anyone, so she needed proof. So I went and got proof, and I felt like I what was being a What do they call that? Catfishing? Catfishing. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. I catfished him. He didn't know it was me. He didn't know it was you. No, ma'am. You sent him pictures, but you didn't show your face. Did not show my face, no. And you sent him a flirt kind of whatever. Yeah, like in a robe, lingerie. But I not pictures that's of my totally legs. That's unacceptable. That's, there's, there's that's no so way wrong. to validate that. That is so wrong. I mean, that is really messed up, honest to goodness. That is just so wrong. I mean, you say you may get that she's upset? Hell, she this should have been upset. This is what I'm dealing with. Everything, she, every feeling I have is irrational to her. I'm just jealous, I'm just this, I'm just that. But you are. So, so what happened right with here. this boyfriend? Is this the one who you got pregnant by? No, ma'am. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're no, we're no longer together because he cheated on her. He did not. He's never cheated on me. Um, and and even with her trying to prove that he was cheating, I don't know how to take that because you. Well, you him broke up with him. Something happened. Well, right. we did break up. Yes. So now you are a sophomore and you got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is clearly after the catfishing incident. Yes. Oh, I see. Lisa, I'm still not convinced that your motives were sincere on this. I really, I mean, I just, it's her life. Right. And if she chooses to be with this boyfriend, then so be it. If you could say, okay, listen, listen, girl, I know I've seen him or whatever, that kind of gets close to the line. But what you did absolutely crossed over the line because you baited him. Right. You baited him to prove a point, and then you threw it up in her face. You know, that was just wrong, absolutely wrong. So I'll get back to that in a minute. So you all haven't spoken since that time. Six years later, she has a baby. You have a baby, I understand, from the complaint just a short time afterwards. Mm -hmm. She graduates, but you dropped out of school. Yes. And so how did that impact your relationship? Um, well, it was just another thing for her to throw in my face, um, another reason for me to be jealous of her. As you can see, she still brings that up that I didn't finish school. You didn't. Okay, so, but why have that attitude about it? I'm I don't sister. have an attitude. You have an attitude about it. I'm just, I'm just that attitude that you, didn't. that you have is not the attitude. I did not graduate. I'm good. Should have. Okay, so that's exactly what I mean. The okay. condescending attitude that she has about it. This is why we don't get along. Did you ever just think, you know? about reaching out to her and saying, look, I know this has been a tough, tough situation for you. 
You had to drop out of school. What can I do to support you to go back? Well, I, I try to... I, I, answer to me. Answer to me. Don't look at her. Answer me. I want to hear it from you. Did you ever say, look, you know, I went to the school. I realized this is your dream school. I was fortunate enough to graduate. What can I do to help you? Did you ever think to just say, what can I do to help you? No, Your Honor, we never had that conversation. I feel like every time we get together, it's an argument. We can never see eye to eye. So I just, I just left it alone. So after you did this whole set up, you know, bait, trick, whatever you want to call it, did you ever go back and apologize to her? Or you thought that you were doing it in her best interest? I thought I was doing it in her best interest. So you never apologized? No. Whew. So now, six years later, you all end up at this family reunion. Yeah. And what happens? I did not want to go, Your Honor. Um, I honestly only went because my grandmother is really ill right now. And I just wanted to have time with her and right. the family. Um, and my because son, if you hadn't gone, you would always regret that you hadn't gone to see absolutely. her. Absolutely. I went to the union. Um, my son was really excited to see his cousin again. And we had just bought a lacrosse stick. We had actually So the came... boys are 10 years old, right? Yes. Just a couple of months apart. Yeah, All yes. right, so 10 years old. He's excited to see him. Mm -hmm. And you had bought him a lacrosse stick. Yes, so he plays lacrosse at his school. Um, he just started the season. And they had to get brand new sticks. And they're really expensive. I'm not sure how the stick ended up out the car, or why he decided to bring it out. You know, kids will did be Did you kids. tell him to keep it in the car? I did. Nope. You it's, did? He I, didn't. I did. She wouldn't know that, Your Honor, but I did. No, you wouldn't know that. You surely wouldn't know that. So he gets the stick out, and what happens to the stick? Um, so I witness her son, my nephew. He was being squirted with a water gun, and he backed up and stepped on the lacrosse stick. It snapped right in half. Now, I understand that it was a mistake. I do get that. So I went to her immediately after the situation. You went to me or you ran to me like Flojo and caused the scene? I approached her. In the middle of the family reunion. I you approached her oh. calmly. I calmly. doubt that you, I doubt her, that you approached her you calmly. You did not. Well, I doubt that you approached her calmly. Because no. you all have had such bad blood. There is nothing calm about any part of this relationship. Coming up. Yes. What was your response? I was trying to tell her to calm down. We were in the middle of my yard. I don't even know how she got the invite because we had to talk, but when she first... Do you hear this? Closed captioning provided by... You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Darlene Shockley, who is suing her sister, Lisa Hickson, for property damage. Let's keep it real. You confronted her and said, girl, look. I'm not. Be honest. <sighs> There's nothing calm between the two I of you. I can own that. OK, yes, maybe it could have been more calm, maybe, yeah. but it was not out okay. of control So, is what you, I So can you say. confronted her. Yes. What was your response? I was trying to tell her to calm down. We were in the middle of my yard, because I had the family reunion at my house. All right. I don't even know how she got the invite, because we hadn't talked. But when she first Do you hear this? When she first you got there. This? Help me. Help me. You're sitting here saying, I don't know how she got invited. She's a member of the family. This exactly. is her grandma, she too. Has, she hasn't been to any of one, the previous ones that we've had. She doesn't talk to anyone in the family at all. So she got there. She's already cranky. She's like, the food is cold. There's no more ribs. Well, when you get there three hours late in my family, there are going to be no more ribs. So yeah. she was sitting. You get there two hours late, late in my be family. No more ribs. <laughs> One hour late, you might not have any ain't ribs. No more I ribs. get that part. So she she already was sitting kind of by herself. She just scoping the scene out. So I wasn't over there when my son and nephew were playing. Right. So the story that multiple witnesses say that her son, my nephew, was spraying my son in the face with a water gun. So he was wow. trying to hide his face. He backed, backed up, up and it stepped, he stepped on the stick. You know, that is the only thing thing that you all have agreed on in this courtroom today. You told exactly the same story. Right. There was a water gun involved. The kids were playing. He backed up. He stepped on the stick, which nobody disputes was an accident. Coming up. Well, what is it going to take for the two of you all to get to a place where you all can be civil with each other? I'm I'm content with the way my life is oh, right you're now. Right? She doesn't want to talk to me, and I don't want to talk to her. Mm. Closed captioning provided by... You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Darlene Shockley, 
who is suing her sister, Lisa Hickson, for property damage. But what is it going to take for the two of you all to get to a place where you all can be civil with each other? Uh, I'm, I'm content with the way my life is oh, right you're, now. Oh, right? Okay. She doesn't want to talk mm. to me, and I don't want to talk to her. Mm. Well, I can't order people to do, to fix relationships. I mean, you know, I try. Uh, I'm going to rule on the $200, but what is more important to me is the fact that, see, you all aren't communicating, but that means that your children are being deprived of this relationship as well. And so I just want you to really think about this. I want you all to really, really do some soul searching on this. Um, you were wrong, and you need to apologize about that catfishing setting up stuff. And you need to, you need to apologize right now. Do I need to come down here? Yeah. You need to apologize, for real. I'm serious. Get over there and apologize. You think I'm joking with you? Don't cry. Oh, that's about as sincere as this. Are you sincere? Oh, you are. Oh, okay, all right. I'm sorry I catfished you. I was, I honestly, really, look at me. I was really trying to help. I wasn't trying to be spiteful. But it was wrong, and I shouldn't have done that. I should let you choose your own life. And I really don't want to deprive my son and your son from having a cousin relationship. So I apologize, and if that's what it's gonna take for us to mend our relationship, then I would do whatever it takes. Because I know grandma wouldn't want to see us fighting like this before her, she leaves this earth. So I'm sorry, and I love you. I love you too. Judge Hatchett's verdict when we return. Promotional consideration provided by you're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. Lord have mercy, we had to get all the way to court. You know, <laughs> sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes, you know, that's what it takes. Now, it's not worth over this $200. What I'm going to do, because I do believe it was an accident, I don't think that he did it intentionally, but I think as a show of good faith that we ought to split it. And you ought to contribute $100 to replacing this lacrosse stick. And I want you all, before they leave this courthouse today, I want you all to plan some play dates with these boys, right? And you're going to come over and some help cook some ribs <laughs> and some <laughs> potato salad and okay. some, you know, what else you have at barbecues? What do you have at family meals? Macaroni. 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 Okay. You know, and make sure that you communicate that we're going to have a family reunion. And girl, this is what you got to do. This is what I need you to do. Come on over here and do these things, you know? Yeah. And so I need you all to figure this out. I really do. I really do. Because at the end of the day, you know, she is your sister. She is your sister. And I want you all to be okay. All right. Do you both need a hug? Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Oh, oh. All right. Y'all get out of my courtroom. I got other things to do. <laughs> Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $100. I am happy the way things turned out today, and I'm excited to mend the relationship with my sister. I'm just happy to have my sister back. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.